Hi, uh, my name is Robert Johnson. I'm with the law firm of R.D. Johnson Law Offices. And today I thought I'd explain a little bit about what, what kind of protection an LLC offers for personal asset protection. I get that question all the time. People ask me, you know, can I set up an LLC and put assets into the LLC and will it protect the assets in the LLC? And the, the short answer is yes, it will, but let me explain what that protection really is. Um, I've got some pictures here, hopefully these help uh, explain or give you a visual. Um, but uh, this represents you, of course. Um, this is a judgment creditor. This, of course, is the LLC. So if, if a judgment creditor gets a judgment against you as a member of an LLC, and a, a membership interest in an LLC is, is uh, synonymous essentially with being a stockholder in a corporation. That's how you own your interest in an LLC. It's called a membership interest. And if a judgment creditor gets a judgment against a member of an LLC, and I'm talking particularly about a Nevada LLC, this is kind of the general rule, but uh, these are specific to Nevada. The judgment creditor of a member of a Nevada LLC can't seize the membership interest in the LLC, so they can't own your interest in the company and take over the company. What their remedy is under the Nevada law, and the Nevada law is very explicit, and this is one of the great things about an LLC in Nevada, and, and that makes us generally better than, than any other state for protection, is that our law states that the, the exclusive remedy of a judgment creditor is they can go into court and get what's called a charging order. And a charging order in it against an LLC's membership interest really is, is just like a lien against their right to receive distributions of profit from the LLC when and if those profits are distributed. And if there's a charging order in place and there's a distribution made, the charging order is an order from the court to deliver that payment instead of making it to the member of the LLC to deliver that payment to the judgment creditor and they would get the distribution instead of the member. But under the Nevada law, again, that's the exclusive remedy, and the judgment creditor can't force the LLC or the members to make a distribution so that they would get it. It's purely a sit and wait and hope you get something remedy, and they have to hope you're dumb enough to make that distribution. Of course, if you're not asleep at the wheel and there's a charging order, you're not going to make that distribution. So that's, that's good protection in that they, they're not going to own your interest in the LLC, can't invade the LLC to get at the assets, can't force you to make a distribution of profits from the LLC so that they would get it. But really, at, at the bottom line with an, an LLC alone, and there are some additional things that we can do that I'll explain in, in future videos, but just you know, with the LLC alone now, what that does is it leaves you with a, a stalemate with the judgment creditor where you really can't take your money out where you need it to use it, but they can't get to it either. So you're both at a stalemate. That puts you in a position where you're probably in a better position to settle it out or just wait them out until, until their judgment is gone. So that's, that's the bottom line with the protection with an LLC alone. So thanks so much for watching. Um, you can go to my website, rdjohnsonlaw.com. I've got a lot of detailed information. That's part of the purpose with my website is I've made a point of putting as much detailed and helpful information there as possible. So I encourage you to go there to get more information or watch for future videos where I'll, where I'll explain more about asset protection. So thanks again.